Hey there, today we're going to be comparing Dying Light Enhanced Edition running on the Ryzen 5 5500U and the Ryzen 5 5600H. So this is pretty much showing you the difference between the two versions of the B-Link SCR5 where you can get the one with the 5500U or you can pay a bit more and get the one with the 5600H. Now spec wise, these are both 6 core 12 thread CPUs and they actually have the exact same iGPU but you're going to see the difference in performance between the two right now. So jumping into the game right now with the lowest in-game graphics settings at the full 1080p resolution, and this is with textures set to high, you can see that there is a pretty noticeable difference in terms of performance between the 5500U and the 5600H, where we end up with a sub 40 FPS average on the 5500U. The 5600H is almost at a 50 FPS average, and the gap between the 1% lows isn't as wide but it does at least bump those up comfortably above 30 fps so in general a pretty massive improvement going on here for the 5600h now if we drop things down to 720p which i suspect a lot of people might consider doing if they're not getting a 60 fps average at the full 1080p resolution then here you can see an even wider gap between the two where now the 5600h can actually start to flex its muscles here and you can see that we are getting a noticeably higher FPS where we're almost at a 90 FPS average while the 5500U is still giving a respectable 67 FPS average though the improvements in the 1% lows are also noticeable here because of the fact that now the 5600H is giving us 1% lows that are above 60 FPS while the 5500U is giving us still a respectable 49 for 1% lows but there is clearly going to be a difference in terms of playability between the two so again we're using the exact same igpu here both of these have the radeon 7 but you can see that the 5600h is able to stay at maximum clock speed far longer which means that it's being fed more than enough power now part of the benefit of this is the fact that zen 3 is far more efficient so the cores that do need to actually do things and it isn't a game that is maxing out the cpu but the cores that do need to do work here aren't using up a lot of that power so most of it can just go to the igpu while zen 2 with the 5500u really is just more power demanding and its sweet spot is closer to 25 watts which means that running this at 25 watts we're barely able to properly give enough power to the gpu and the cpu so you can definitely see a major difference here but anyways i hope you found this look at the two systems running this game to be interesting or useful if you did be sure to subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one.